In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be to you, dear friends. I am your brother Mario Joseph from Philokalia Foundation. I think you know that this in this Lent 2022, from day 1 till day 40, we are learning some Bible verses, every day one verses. And I am uploading every day the video, and in the video there is one verses for you to memorize. And the good news is that from 35th day onwards, you have a chance to win some gifts. What you have to do, you have to open your mobile camera and record all the verses what you memorized within this 35 days or within this 40 days. And if you record and send that video to us, if we are sure that you have recorded it, memorized one, not looking at the Bible, not looking in the mobile, not looking in the paper, simply looking at the mob mobile phone to the camera, recited all the verses what you memorized. We are sure that you memorized this many verses. Only for those who memorized, we are sending some gifts. That will be a Benedictine cross, blessed cross, as well as a blessed rosary we will send. After the blessing, we will pack and send to you the into the postal address which you given us. I'm sorry that internationally we cannot send now because it is quite expensive, but in India we will send anywhere in all the states. So if you want to get these gifts, you have to send the videos. And how to send that video? In our WhatsApp mobile. And what is that WhatsApp number? Let me say, please write down. 82814-99769. I repeat, 82814-99769. This is one of our WhatsApp number. You can record that uh, video of yours. I mean, reciting all the verses what you memorized and send it. If you cannot do all 40 verses, at least 35. If not 35, at least 30. If not 30, at least 25. If not 20, minimum 20. I say minimum 20 verses you must memorize, not less than that. And you can record and send to us. Definitely we will send you the gifts. Today I want to say something very, very important. I think most of you know this word, but before uh, explaining that word, let me share with you one of my experience. I was invited by someone from Pune to conduct a convention. And when I went to the parish, there was no accommodation, proper accommodation in Pune, in the parish. So parish priest put me in a house. So I was staying in a house and every day I come to the parish for the convention. After the convention, we'll go back to the house. And the people of that house, they only pick me up from airport and they only drop me to airport. One day after reaching there, you know, someone dropped me from the airport to their house. Evening, I must go to church. There I saw two car and one bike, but they called auto rickshaw to take me to church. So I asked that gentleman, why we are going by rickshaw? You have to car here. Then the wife said, not he, wife said, Brother Mario, please speak to my husband. He can drive well, but he never takes car nowadays. I said, why? Then wife said, he, we were very poor family and we were not having enough money. With a lot of interest and zealous, first time we bought a bike, but my husband met with an accident on that bike. So he stopped taking bike. Then he purchased a car. He thought that will be more safe, but he met with an accident with the same car. So he stopped driving. He thinks that it is not good for me. And one of his relative, an evangelist said to him that it is not good for you to drive. There is some bondage or block. Uh, you can always uh, go with someone else. You can own a car, but you don't drive someone else drive. Let someone else drive and you can sit and go. You are an owner of the car, but don't drive. So he has that fear and he is not driving car. We are suffering a lot. That's what the wife said. I said, you are absolutely wrong. Because some, you know, you have to, uh, to experience the bike accident as well as car accident. With that experience, you cannot generalize and you cannot judge that you cannot drive or you should not supposed to drive. No. And if someone says that you should not drive, it is not good for you. I think... Uh, that person also is not giving a good advice. Then that gentleman asked, what are you trying to say? I said, God created this universe by his word and he is the one who protects this world by his word. And I know that word of God has a power and word of God can give protection for you and for your car. You must drive trusting in the almighty God. He said, what can I do? I prayed for him and I gave this word that was Joshua 1.9. I repeat Joshua 1.9. Have I not commanded you be strong and of good courage? 
be not afraid neither be dismayed for the lord your god is with you wherever you go such a powerful word god says i have already told you don't be afraid don't be misbehaved don't be sad don't be worried be courageous be strong i am with you wherever you go so don't be afraid to drive don't be sad to drive don't worry about to driving be courageous be strong i am with you wherever you go in whatever valleys or whatever gut road or whatever hairpin bends wherever you go i am there with you it is the protection from almighty god and i asked him to write down this word on his vehicle and he did it and i said you memorize this whenever you get into the car recite this word and start driving that day i inspired him and he drove me to the church nothing happened and evening he brought me back to the house after many years now still we keep in touch with now still we talk each other and we keep contact he is driving no problem no more accident and he even drove the car from pune to mumbai mumbai to pune no problem so my brothers and sisters i think this powerful word you must memorize when you are traveling when you are driving and when you feel that you are not courageous enough when you feel that you have some fear when you feel that you have some worry recite that word let that word become flesh in you because it is the promise of almighty god memorize this word in today's video as i said uh, try to send the video recorded video to our uh, whatsapp number that will give you some gifts in this Easter may almighty god bless you and peace be with you